AI is slowly coming into our lives. Should you be afraid of AI in volleyball? I'll tell you straight away that uh, some professions are in great danger. On the other hand, AI will bring us many fantastic new things that were before unthinkable. But back uh, to the present, uh, the recent phenomenon is uh, ChatGPT. We are literally fascinated by what it can do and uh, we are learning how it can help us in volleyball. ChatGPT is the first AI machine that can answer any questions uh, quite accurately and can also give you advice on how to play volleyball today. We can look forward to a big AI boom in the near future. It's going to be a ride we can avoid in volleyball. Will this be a plus for you or should you also fear AI? I try to answer that in this video. AI is developing rapidly. I look at uh, possible developments and practical examples of how AI will impact volleyball in the next uh, 10 years or so. I dare not estimate any further guesses now. After all, I am not a magician. So what can AI do? And what can it do in the near future? Already now, ChatGPT or another similar service can give you a lot of volleyball tips and how-tos. If I type into ChatGPT what to do to jump high, it has right away several tips for me. If I want to plan a volleyball practice and its drills, again within seconds I have a decently prepared practice from AI at my disposal. If I type in ChatGPT what to eat before practice, uh, boom and I have an answer right away. If I want to lose a few kilograms to jump higher, again instant response is there. Or if my ankle hurts, uh, I get simple advice on how to take care of it uh, in the next uh, few days. Just general volleyball advice and how-tos are already a piece of cake for AI. Then there is AI technology coupled with uh, variables. Uh, AI will be all around us. Uh, we can already have uh, variables on our bodies that quite reliable monitor our physical condition, how well we sleep or even how high we jump and how many jumps uh, we have done in a training session. Add to that the gadgets that gradually get under our skin. Things that will measure almost everything from uh, sugar levels, uh, cholesterol and even fatigue. But what will have a major, I would say positive uh, impact on our performance will be the tracking of our movements by the AI camera in our phones or similar devices. As of now, ChatGPT has learned a lot of uh, things by accessing all the text information we have at our disposal. So in few years uh, there will be an AI that will look at all volleyball videos, uh, analyze them and know exactly how to play volleyball, what advice to give you. Then you will record a video of yourself, upload it to the server and in a few moments uh, the AI will be serving you advice and recommendations uh, in the form of uh, comparing your technique to the ideal technique of the world best uh, volleyball players. It will literally show you now your hand is down when you hit the ball. Now you are late uh, coming under the ball before you set. This is literally gonna be a boom. The AI apps uh, will also soon help us in our training. Plan our individual training plan. A plan that uh, we'll customize to our liking and either train like a professional volleyball player and practice uh, twice a day or choose two to three practices a week. As I mentioned before, AI will know exactly what to do to make you attack better, serve better. An AI apps uh, will serve you this advice in the form of an individualized uh, training plan. Because even today uh, the vast majority of you train mainly with a team and it's the extra individual training sessions that make you a better player than others. Like practicing uh, volleyball wall drills against the wall. Also be prepared for the AI to keep an eye on you, if you let her. On whether you are really training as you wanted and uh, she planned for you. AI will be watching you to see if you really did 100 jump uh, rope jumps. She'll know that you've been uh, jumping at half throttle for the last hour in practice. She'll know what you haven't slept standard 8 hours. Then it may even uh, show you that uh, you didn't train hard this week and encourage you. Or it will praise you for training at 120% last week. And then there are the volleyball machines we use now. In Japan, for example, it's already a unique uh, blocking machine, but most of you will be familiar with uh, the serve trainers that we have to constantly operate, feed it with the ball and uh, direct it where it should uh, shoot. With the advent of AI, I think there will be autonomous uh, systems uh, that not only serve the balls themselves, but they will also track the movement of the receiving player, they will change the type of serve, uh, they will look for his weaknesses. They will simply help you improve your receiving uh, and other volleyball skills. 
So far I have talked uh, about the positive impact of AI on our volleyball lives. But now there are a few areas coming up uh, where AI will greatly help and make our volleyball lives uh, easier, but some people will lose their current job, or rather their scope of uh, volleyball job. Match stats are the domain of uh, statisticians and scouts who sit at a PC for hours during or after a match and record our every touch uh, with the ball. They then play with this data and the output is tactical preparation and reports with uh, statistical indicators about our performance during the match. And here I see a clear dominance of AI in the future. The same video as the scout has uh, will be processed by the computer. With many algorithms and access to other video data, it will quickly learn to recognize uh, individual hits and touches, uh, what we play well, where we make uh, mistakes and then it will tell us uh, things we can't even dream of now. The AI will know exactly the characteristics of each player, where their weaknesses are, where their strengths are. It will serve us the same detailed uh, characteristics about every team. It's just that uh, our technical preparation can reach a whole new dimension. Of course, it will still be the case uh, that the players will have to be able to apply this advice in the game. A lot in danger, in my opinion, will be the referees. Already now in leagues and other top volleyball competitions, uh, cameras are used to verify uh, errors uh, through a challenge system. I see in the future that there will not be a human referee sitting on the empire. His job will be done by an AI system that will keep a close eyes on the whole court and all the players. An AI system that will detect uh, any mistakes uh, lighting fast and will control the match with almost 100% accuracy. I see the advantage of this AI system or robot especially for lower level competitions. Because numbers of referees are decreasing and this system could uh, replace them if it is affordable. Related to this is the work of uh, scorekeepers and score indicators. They will also be ended. Everything will be taken over by AI. We will no longer be going to sign the match report after the match. The AI will create it electronically, send it to us via email, airdrop or other service and we will sign it on our mobile. The score display will then also be a small thing that we humans won't have to deal with. Plus even the cleaning lady should be worried about her job. It's already just robots rushing around in Amazon. So before our volleyball match I expect a robot cleaner to mop the hole. And not only the cleaner, but human floor wipers uh, will be replaced during the volleyball game. Some of you may be interested in the match results. Uh, you'll want to bet on your favorite team or on the outcome of the World Championship uh, final. Yes, even here the AI will be better than the best bookmaker. From the history of thousands of matches, it will be much more likely to guess uh, what each volleyball team's chances of success are. And you will be able to listen to it and decide how much to bet on your favorite team. Also journalists uh, who make their living uh, writing articles or social media posts about volleyball should worry a lot. AI is already communicating capably in writing. Once she learns uh, how to watch and evaluate a match, written output in the form of articles will be the icing on the cake, uh, which she will be very happy to feast on. But when you look at all these things, uh, you'll see that AI will be a lot about theory, logic and advice. It won't be showing you how to play volleyball over the next years. It won't be showing you real examples in dozens of drills. Yes, it will show you and give you advice on how to play volleyball, but it won't teach you volleyball it will still be up to you. Therefore, should you be afraid of AI? My answer is no, if you are a player or a coach. The AI will not stand against you on the court. It will not yet be able to move like a human. Sure, a robot can jump uh, much higher, have uh, more computing power. But making quick decisions and uh, being able to play 10 types of attacks like a skilled volleyball player, uh, I don't think uh, it can do that in upcoming years. I don't think that uh, AI robot can lead uh, volleyball practice, uh, practically demonstrating individual drills. I don't think AI will be able to replace coaches who know their team anytime soon. Coaches who have uh, years of experience and uh, know when to take a timeout, when to tactically substitute one or two players, or when to make a brawl on the field and maybe get a yellow card. I also don't believe that AI will be soon capable of uh, true emotions, uh, that her face and body will react to positive and negative uh, situations and experiences in training and in games. I certainly can't imagine an AI robot being capable of true team uh, friendship and experiencing every game with us. 
And I don't believe that, uh, like in Matrix, uh, you connect uh, some computer to your head, uh, it uploads a new version of the world best uh, volleyball attacker, and boom, uh, you are playing volleyball like uh, Engapet or Leon in uh, 10 minutes. Maybe a few of uh, my predictions won't come true, but uh, some I am convinced will. Volleyball won't run away from AI. We will have to learn a lot of things, adapt, uh, but it will also help us a lot and uh, we will have uh, more information to play better volleyball. On the other hand, uh, the essence of our sport uh, will still remain the same. We will still have uh, to train hard and smart, trying to take every ball in the match. We will still have to play as a team to have a chance to win. And uh, you don't have to worry about the uh, AI crushing you on the field, uh, just as the AI has already beaten the best uh, chess players in the world. You'll still be able to play a classic, exciting match against your human opponents and enjoy the victory. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.